Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlemagne's adventure in Stars One. So I've been busy. I've replaced the older kind of stuff with all new stuff. So basically, we have the industrial centrifuge here. We have the industrial crusher here. We have the the industrial industrial electrolyzer and then we have of course the chemical laboratory which is useless I'm not sure what we use it for <laughs> I haven't discovered that yet on my own so we have the industrial furnace here so we have everything that we need I've also added a bunch of you know, accumulator of energy so now we have a huge storage deposit and also over here if we run outside I've added doors because I'm kind of decorating the base on the outside and matting in these slanted blocks here so you can actually change blocks which is kind of cool here I have a solar panel array which I want to put lights on so that helps power everything during the day down over here I installed a light another accumulator and an ore extractor here and here you'll find that it's just extracting ores and it's non-stop it's pretty exciting stuff yeah so what are we gonna do today well today I've been grinding 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 I've got a bunch of resources everywhere so now basically we're going to create the factories the vehicle factories and then we'll grind the vehicles so let's see here if I type in factory so we got the factory air transport and factory transport so I wanna build both of these so let's build the air transport first Let's go craft, bang, okay, and let's do the factory transport next. Bang, okay, perfect, so we can have both. I wonder how big these are. I think these are huge. And now I want to see what vehicles we can create out of this. Okay, perfect. So where are we going to place this stuff? Hmm, how big is this stuff? Let's see here. Oh, man, okay, okay, that's not too shabby. It's big, but it's not too bad. Now, I wonder what blocks it. I wonder if these bushes block it. So I wonder if we have to pick this up. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah, it looks like the bushes do block it. Okay. So, hmm. And then we have this thing, which is a vehicle thing. And we can rotate it. Like so. Hmm. Do we even want to rotate it? Let's see, do we want to place it just over here? Does it need power? That's the other question I have. Let's put the vehicle thing right here. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Let's see if that's in a good spot. Yeah, okay. I'll accept it here. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can get squished. Cool. Factory door. This is probably Cars Factory. Okay. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. Wow, there's a mobile base. You can have little cars, sedan, SUV, trucks. Huh, this is awesome. So what would be the best for our case? They all require components, so that's cool. But we can easily accumulate all of these. Not a problem. So let's see, which one would be the easiest to make? Uh, it's kind of useless. I don't know if you can actually dig anywhere. Don't even know why you'd have a vehicle like that. We got this thing, which is kind of neat. So let's see here. I'm going to write this stuff down, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we got that thing. Let's build this air thing as well. So this tree is going to be in the way. So I'm going to extract that and I'm going to chop this tree down. I wonder if we get anything from it. Oh yeah, we do. Okay, cool. We got a sapling that we can move. So where do we want to place this guy? Maybe right beside. It doesn't need to be anywhere special. Let's see here. I'm trying to place it. I want to place it right up here. Ah, uh, come on. Like, right here somewhere. Ah, uh, come on. Right. Ah. Uh. 
So I want it beside, but then I want it not too close. I want it in this other hump here. Let's see how this looks. Okay, okay. Uh, not too shabby. It's huge. That's all I gotta say. It's it's huge. And okay, cool. Looks like it's not. Oh no. Back here. Ah shucks. Oh well. That's fine. I could always block it up if that really bothered me, but that is fine. Okay, so how do we get into this thing? Factory door. So there is a door on this thing. Okay, cool. Here we go. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to write the stuff down for this as well. Okay, so I'm going to close these doors. Ooh, and I'm going to run back to the other door over here. Ah, stuck on that. I'm going to close this one as well. Because I imagine we get to drive it out of that thing. And now I'm going to go over to the auto crafter here. And I'm going to program in all the materials. And it's quite a bit. The most work will be the steel. But that's not too shabby. Because it should be okay. We're going to eat some bananas here. Okay. So... It's building the accumulators right now. Okay, excellent. So, what do I need? I need 800 mechanisms. So, we got three, six. So, let's see, three, six, seven, almost eight, hey? Let's just grab all of them here, like so. Okay, we got all the mechanisms there. We need 700 conductors. So, three, six, might as well take all of that. <laughs> we need 400 simple electronics, which we have. Perfect. We need 160 accumulators. Let's grab those. Okay, perfect. And then we need 1,900 small iron parts. So these things. So we got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Ooh, okay, so we'll have to build some. Just undo those. Okay, uh, let's see here. How many do we want to build of that stuff? Let's do... Uh, let's do another 2,500. Let's let it craft that out. Okay, so while that's crafting, I am going to... What's going on here? Okay, I'm going to go over here and... Let us program in this bad boy. Okay. Is it working? Required. Is it not taking components? Do we have to drag components in there? Do I have glass? Maybe that's my... No, I got glass right here. Maybe it's get closer. Maybe we have to open up the door. Maybe we have to jump in here. No, that's not it maybe we have to go back here maybe this is actually the front of the building maybe there's a certain oh you know what I don't think I have the steel plates yeah okay you know what I'm gonna have to make some steel plates so this is how I've been doing it I run back over here create some stairs back here so we can just run right in the other side, I can't do that because the ground is too low, which is kind of interesting. So I'm just going to kind of double. I put the freezer here in the middle. This basically just stores our food. Let's do that. Let's put a light on. This is how we put lights on. I just use the number keys to, to rotate them, change them. Okay, perfect. I might put a window in here or I might put another presser there. Who knows? Who knows? We need to place this thing as well oops sometimes that happens you get stuck so let's place the banana tree down here because this is where it's relevant okay perfect let's check this out anything good in here done not really not really but we can grab this stuff let's go ahead and do that the uranium you can you grind down, but then I'm not sure what else you can do with it. I kind of get stuck. I'm not sure what the purpose with all that stuff is at the moment anyways. 
so yeah okay so if we run in here where have I been putting that stuff I've been just putting it directly into the the crusher like so let's throw this into the centrifuge let's let that do its thing how's this how's the power yeah power is okay if you notice we're collecting more than what we're consuming but that will change once it goes to nighttime let's put that there we got the wooden log and stuff let's throw that into here actually let's throw this in there because that's how we use it up let's plant these trees up here way over here perfect okay let's go let's see uh, there and then there okay perfect my character likes to punch when it's the last item that you place it's pretty interesting man oh man oh man okay steel plates so I tell you what so to make the steel plates I have to run over here I might have to where is it I thought I had steel no it steals in this one right here I'll have to process some of this then I'll have to press them so yeah so I need about 200 steel plates how many ingots do we have here I know I have some steel ingots in here uh, let's see we got 20 only 25 oh auto save auto saves annoying because it drops the stuff on the ground so there we go we got 25 how about okay let's throw our resources in here we don't need to hold on to them right now I'm not gonna make any more concrete blocks at the moment then we got a lot of these of these blocks which I think I'll turn into the bricks to compact them and we need to check this power here yeah that that power is burnt through and then let's put in a stack of 300 there let's make sure we got a full stack there perfect okay let's just throw this stuff in here 25 steel ingots okay I wonder if I need this screwdriver with me to build to make the the vehicles okay so that let's see here you need a bunch more steel powder because I have to smelt this down basically so I tell you what I'm gonna smelt this down and then I'll be right back okay so this is still processing plates so let's see if we can feed what I have into one of these vehicles. Can I feed it into the transport? 75. I think I can do this one. There you go. So it's 200. So it takes time. It takes time. So over here, what do we need? We need, let's see, more plates. Can I look at my inventory? So I don't know. Okay. Let's take a quick peek here. We're out in the open, but that's okay. So mechanism, we need more. No, I have 450 mechanism. Let's see. Do we need what? 250 conductors. Looks like I got that. 150 simple electronics or 250. I got that. Got the accumulators. Uh, 953. Three, six, no, that's what I need more of. Let's grab some accumulator parts here. Or accumulator parts, what am I talking about? These guys, these iron parts here. Three, six, nine. And then the glass, I think 15. I think that's it. And now I just need about 125 plates. So, yeah, let's take a quick peek here. Yeah, 125 plates. I'll be back once these are done. Okay, we are back in business here. Looks like I have 126 steel plates. I think that is enough. Oh, looks like the vehicle doors are open. That's awesome. So let's kind of quickly jump. Oh, there's our transport. <laughs> now this bad boy. Let's go create. Boom, that takes a long time as well. So let us try hopping into the vehicle and see how it handles. I think I can just walk right up to it. We can access the cargo bay 
and we just go F. Okay, okay, that's how how do we increase shift? Okay, and it doesn't stop right away. And control is okay. I see. Forward, right, left. Okay, I see. Okay. Okay. Sweet. So I mean, we can zoom out a bit. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Let's kind of increase the size here. Okay. It's kind of tricky, but okay. So I'm just going to do a quick kind of fly around here. Just going to see if there's that island off off the there's an island somewhere around here so let's kind of take a quick peek there's our base down there nice nice look at that beautiful oh it's gonna get dark that is fine is there any way of doing lights we can't press F because that means it'll drop down and if you drop down in water and this thing goes in the water then you don't have thrust anymore so that's a problem I want to see if I hit L. I don't think there's lights on this thing. Okay, that's fine. Let's fly in this direction. Yeah, it's kind of tricky to get used to, but the camera kind of sticks behind it. Oh, okay, there we go. It's kind of locked in the camera, right? So let's fly up a bit higher. Okay, I don't see no island. I don't see any zombies anywhere either. It's a pretty big continent, hey? So I generated... Oh, there we go. That's the one I want to go to. Way over there in the distance, you can see it. So let's go this way. Course correction. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to head in that direction, and hopefully we will find it. Yeah, as I'm flying around this place, you can kind of see that I was just in this little area here. And I didn't really harvest all of it. There's still so much more to pick up with rocks and whatnot. There's probably more ore nodes that we can place stuff on. We could use this whole island or this whole continent here and, and place stuff. So this huge one is pretty cool. But I want to go straight towards that shadow there because there's an island supposedly and there's a crashed spaceship on the island. So let us fly in that direction and see. Now remember, we can't press F, because if we do, we're going to land in the water and the ship's going to be stuck. <laughs> so let's see, let's hope there's something out there, because I don't want to get lost. <laughs> it would suck to get lost, because there's no kind of compass, there's no like heading thing or anything like that. I wonder if there's like resources, if there would be like resources underwater, if there'll be like underwater stuff and... You know, if we'll be able to fly up into space or anything like that. Right now, it's just pretty simplistic for this this early access here. Let's keep going. I don't see anything, but it is getting larger. And why would the reflection be there if there's nothing there, right? So, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. The island's getting smaller. Very, very smaller. Or is this in the water? Oh, there we go, there we go, the island is, is popping in. And this is kind of like a dead island as well, so there's like nothing really special other than a crashed spaceship on here, I think. Yeah, there you go. There we see it. I'm just going to do a flyby of this thing. I'm not really going to land. I don't think there's really anything to see. So let's kind of drop low a bit. There we go. Look at that. It's pretty cool, hey? It almost looks like a submarine. <laughs> like the Hunt for Red October or something like that. Okay, so we'll do a quick little flyby on the, of, of this thing. Pretty cool. There's a bunch of trees on here. There's probably nothing on here for anything else. So let's turn back, actually, and head back towards... The islands since we know there's there's just this stuff here I'm not gonna bother landing you can land in your own your single player game if you have this game but as far as would I buy this game it's up to you if if 10 bucks or something like that is is not much and you know if you don't care about buying something that's an early access 
then yeah, then go for it. But if you're unsure, then then yeah, then I probably wouldn't, and I'd kind of wait to see. Well, once they got more stuff f fleshed out, a lot of the game is standing around, kind of waiting for components to craft and all of that stuff. So now, so I tell you what, I'm going to fly back to our base, and then we're going to try out that that other vehicle that we have. Okay, we're coming up upon our base there. It's loading in. So we actually created our base in a pretty good spot, I feel. And if there's ever going to be boats, then we're already in a position to just place a boat guy kind of nearby. Yeah, and our base is actually kind of small, but it kind of doesn't match because of the yellow. So we either need to put more concrete stuff, or that's just the way it is. So landing this thing, we should be able to be right overhead, so that's probably not too bad. It's kind of go around like this. Okay. And then we'll do we'll turn around kind of this mountain here a bit. Okay, let's turn it softly. And Oh, there we go. Good thing it's a hover vehicle. And we should actually be able to move up. There we go. Whew. Okay, I think. I think we're going to do this. Yeah, I think we're going to do it. I'm going to go and land it. Bang! Okay, I think we landed it. Beautiful. Hopped out. We'll just leave the thing here. Perfect. Can we close this? Yeah, we certainly can. And if we open it up again, is it still there? Yes, it is still there. We'll just leave it out in the open. No big deal. This thing should be done now. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Look at this bad boy. There's cargo bay. Okay, it has cargo bay. Oh, it has even a workbench. What kind of a workbench? Let's see if it has any of the high-tech stuff. No, it looks like it's just like a regular workbench. That's very interesting. Kind of useless, to tell you the truth. Oh, there's a furnace. That is freaking cool. So this is a good vehicle to take. Okay, let's see here. Oh yeah. Oh, and as Misha has guns. Sweet. Look at this. Now can we run over trees? Let's see. Let's let's pick a tree over here. Let's run into this thing. Can we run into this? What happens? Oh, nothing. <laughs> okay. Can we shoot trees? Oh, we totally can. Okay, and if we hop out, looks like it stays still, so that's cool. Yeah, we can use this thing to harvest trees. <laughs> then, what we can do is then you can use the furnace, and you can create... A rubber inside there. That's hilarious. Let's hop in. So that means that's crafting while we're. That's so cool. So we can use this to go around harvesting. So any kind of ore deposits that we are remote, we can use this thing. And we can use it for storage. There you go, folks. So that's it. So here we go. So this is. This is our game. This is our. Stars one kind of playthrough and how to get to this point and how to deal with all this stuff and how to do it all. You know, it's definitely, definitely lots of fun. You know, thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. The next time I'll be back will be when there's an update of the game uh, when we can progress further. I'm going to keep this map and we'll just kind of explore the functionality of the game as it happens and as it progresses. So yeah, so thank you everybody. I know we didn't kind of do a few things. You know, there's like the geothermal 
generator that we have. There's the, you know, there's a few things that we didn't build, but I think you get the idea. You're basically running around crafting stuff. I'll go through my boxes here just to show you what's inside. So this is kind of just like how much grinding that it takes to do all this stuff with. We got all this stuff here. We should dump this stuff into the generator. Grab this stuff, throw that in there as well, so that way that can get consumed. All right, there's more kind of concrete mix. You kind of get that as you make. These are all the extra ingots that we have. This is, uh, this is the silicon powder to turn into these wafers if you need them. Let's move that over there. There's nothing in that chest. I kind of created this design. This is more steel. And yeah, back to the powders. We got the fridge in the middle here. This is what we use to eat from. So that way I don't have to harvest food too often. So that's kind of cool because it slows down the health or the health degradation. So if you look at this, it says 581. Well, that will actually degrade slower in the freezer. So as long as we have power come to the freezer, uh, the electrolyzer is still processing. That will continue to process. That's a never ending step. You're getting rid of these these white powder things, right? But actually we're, we're gonna have to start kind of making more steel stuff, more ingots and everything because we're running out of, we're running out of that powder. That means then we've kind of come to the end of production. So yeah, so anyways, so thank you folks. Thank you for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in, in the next one, whenever that may be. You know, thanks for following along and hopefully you've learned you know, enough about the game to progress, you know, here and further. Bye-bye.